So from what we got from the police, um, an accident between a bus and a truck happened on the N8 this morning around 6 a.m. Uh, police don't have the, the, the numbers of the people who are still trapped um, in those two vehicles, but we know that uh, the, the truck driver is obviously still in the truck. They are yet to confirm how many people are in the truck. Uh, several people have also been taken to different hospitals in Tabanchu, Butsabelo and Bloemfontein. We cannot yet confirm the number, but we know that uh, there were about 62 people in the bus who were traveling from Tabanchu to Bloemfontein. Uh, but with me, I have a spokesperson, police spokesperson, Sergeant Sinam Pakani, who will take us through the accident as to what happened this morning. And at the moment, we see that the bus is still here, the truck is still here. What exactly are we waiting for at the moment? Thank you. Um, today in the morning we received uh, um, information about the, the, the accident on the N8 on the crossing between uh, Busabelo, Tabancho and Bluefon, that, uh, the crossing behind Busabelo. The accident is between the bus and the truck. Uh, what you know for now is uh, six people are still trapped in the, in the bus, uh, they are deceased already. And then uh, the truck driver also is still tra trapped in the, in the truck. We are still waiting for the jaws of life so that after the bus is cut open, you can confirm exactly how many people are there. But just on the scene, just is that is six people that are still trapped in the truck. Several people have been taken to Busabelo, Tabancho and Bluefontein hospitals. Um, we got a number that about 38 people were transported. Um, how are we going to be able to confirm the exact number of the people who were in the bus? We are having the people from EMS here. They will tell us because they will, uh, they, the, the people from EMS, they will tell us how many people did they uh, take to Butsabelo, to, Butsab to Tabancho, and to Bluefontein. We are just waiting for the numbers from them. But also, um, the, the, in the bus, we are going to be sure how many people are in the bus because there is this thing of the ticket. After you swipe the ticket, it's automatically counting the people that are getting inside the bus. So with that information, you can confirm how many people were in the truck, how many people were taken to hospitals, and after seeing how many are still trapped, the deceased, of course. All right, thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. Um, it looks like we're still going to be here for quite a while because we still need to confirm the numbers and get more information from the police and obviously from the uh, bus company that will confirm through their ticketing system how many people were in the bus and how many people were transported to these hospitals. And with that, it's back to you in studio.